Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with the Talos Principle, a first impression. But before we get into it, our sponsor as always, H2O. Drink it up or die. Delicious, delicious H2O. Like I said, drink it. Stay hydrated gamers. Okay, let's get into this. This is the Talos Principle. Uh, released in December of 2014, developed by Crow Team, and published by Devolver Digital and Crow Team. Uh, Steam describes it, the Talos Principle is a first-person puzzle game in the tradition of philosophical science fiction, made by Crow Team and written by Tom Jubert uh, of FTL and The Swapper, and Jonas Kratis, Kratises. Uh, of the the sea will claim everything. Uh, it is currently listed on Steam for thirty nine ninety nine uh, United States dollars, and uh, tagged as a puzzle, as puzzle, philosophical, first person, sci fi, and indie. Okay, we will see about all of that. First up, let's go through options. This is nice. Motion sickness options. Very, very funny. Very funny. And this includes the mass sensitivity, field of view, I got mine up to 110, but it goes from 60 all the way to 120, so good good range, good range there. Only one minor nitpick, you can use arrow keys to move it, but the increments are like 60, which is strange. It's not an even 50 or anything, it's 60, so interesting. Or you can do the old, you know, just try and get it perfect, you know, with your cursor, which is... Infinitely more frustrating, I would say. Uh, view bobbing, turn that off. Uh, you know, just bobbed your head, pretty much. Preferred view, this is interesting. Haven't played the game yet, so we'll see. We'll stick with first person, though. And player speed is also interesting. We're gonna leave it on the default of medium. And auto prevent. Okay, cool. So they do have an auto prevent, which just sets it for performance settings. That's good, okay. All right, back out of there. Keyboard and mouse. Raw input, invert look, mouse smoothing, mouse sensitivity. Uh, it's interesting, there's a couple places where they have similar, um, or literally the same settings in different areas, so that's strange. <laughs> oh well. Uh, free look. Disable free look, restricts mouse orientation to horizontal plane. We're not gonna do that. Controller, I assume this would show up if I had a controller plugged in. Doesn't do anything right now. Game options. Subtitles on. Crosshair. Per again, preferred view. Gonna show all the hints. Uh, yep, view bobbing here again. And player speed here again. And graphics. Pumped. believe we're pumped up all the way to the top, but you go... Also got performance in here. Very little. So much. I mean, it's accurate, but... And color options. All the colors. We're gonna bump up brightness, oh dear god, a little bit. Not a lot. Nice to see they have contrast and saturation and gamma correction though. Usually you just get brightness and it's like, here, deal with it. Cause look, you can bump your brightness all the way up and contrast. You can do all of this if you want to. Oh man, there's some screens on which it does. Nope, nope, that was, yeah, that actually keeps. Yeah, there's some screens on which when you change stuff, it goes, you know. All these options, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so my other stuff kept. There's some screens where it will ask you if you want to save before you exit. Sound options. Nice to see we got master, effects, music, voice, and sound API. And of course output device, but just leave it on default. Language, plenty of text languages. I mean, there's not the whole, you know, world here, but you know, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Brazil, Russian, simplified Chinese, Spanish, traditional Chinese, and Turkish for the text. Voice, almost as much. Um, yeah, yeah, yep. Pretty much almost all of the same, almost all the same. 
Uh, performance, we saw this earlier. Advanced options. Letterboxing, show HUD, show time. Um, this isn't on normally. I'm gonna turn it on just to see what it looks like. And they can have your show FPS. Uh, I have another FPS counter on, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And custom HUD scale. I think that's fine. We'll find out. Main menu, you also have extras. You can see achievements, which, you know, don't have yet. Workshop packages, I guess this is for modding, I would assume. And you can benchmark, and you can set a time limit and everything, or no time limit. So, nice to see a benchmark in here, and credits for the game. Redeem rewards, if you have a, redeem, uh, a code to redeem, redeem it, I guess. Alright, enough of me yapping, let's get into the actual game. I'm gonna do Talos Principle, not the demos, and new game. Okay. Running at solid 60 frames. Nice to see. Oh, we got jump. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay. Very generic instructions. I guess the timer is more for speedrunners, but it is helpful for, for, you know, other people. Water. Water seems fine. I mean, you know, pedals don't seem to react to me as much as the water does, but that's fine. Yeah, all running at 60. Pretty good. Pretty good game so far. Okay. Initiating child logic check. I guess I don't want to go through that. What's this? Jammer! Subject, object, interaction. Okay. Ah, jamming! Is it not working? It's not working? What's this do? Oh, you gotta hold it for a second. I see, I see. Okay, well. All right. Ooh, I wonder. Oh, come on. Eh. Uh, okay, okay. Can't jump. All right. So that was our f first puzzle. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look, doesn't look nice. Jammer. Statue? Okay. So let's just take the jammer and see what happens. Okay. So I guess you're just jamming stuff. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Predictive capacity, okay. Well, thanks. It's a gate? Nope. I guess, yeah, I guess you, you know, have the jammers or not. No, this is a dead end. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. So, sigils. Well, it's okay, okay. Find myself in a world of impossible architecture and in inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works. And I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. 
Okay, so version uh, a while ago compared to me, but faith version. I guess those are the sigils. Doorway there, doorways there. Okay. That's an L. Or a green L. It's a, okay. Oh. I'm playing Tetris? What is this? Ah, uh, let's just let's go with the, the purple door. Because we've been going through purple doors so far today. Peephole. Well, that's that's rather rude. Can I jam it from this far? Nice. Nice. Oh, I need another jammer. What happens if I take you from the other side of this wall? Shucks. Okay. So you can't take them from other sides of walls, unfortunately. Hmm. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Shame. What? Ah, oh, I see. I see. Okay. Purple walls mean you can't take equipment through it, I guess. Or at least jammers. Guess I can double jam. Wait. Okay, come on. It would fit through the window. We all know it would. Alright, so you can jam already jammed stuff. That's how that works. Take the jammer. No longer need to worry about that. Let's jam. And we'll go for a longer shot jam, I guess, with the other one. Yeah, we got it. Okay, you can just you just jam them and they're stuck. And we get a Tetris piece. Silver on one side. Ooh. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple. But it may serve you in times to come. Oh, you can run. Uh, yeah, let's just go go around. Okay. Only the two of us. Okay. Take care of that. Guess I need, what, two jammers to get through there then? And I have one. Hey, we got a second one. Nice. All right, I know what I gotta do. It's gonna be annoying. You jam, you unjam, okay. And then you, yep, all right. Lock yourself in here, jam that baby, and you get the piece. Yep, L with silver on the back. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Yeah, okay, sure, buddy. Ah, okay, so they do unlock stuff. They're just sigils. Well, I only have one of the necessary. Yeah, I need more sigils. Okay, yeah. All right, cool, I keep them. So I can use them to unlock and come back. Oh, wow. All the sigils are right here, aren't they? Eh, left to right, then. We did right to left on the outside. Alright, a switch out of reach. What do you do to me? Nothing? Okay. Hey, look, a switch. Frustrating.
What, can I jam a... I can't jam a switch, apparently. What are you talking about out of reach? There's stairs and everything. Okay. So if you're used to pressing E, you can also press E to do stuff. That's nice. Alright, where's that floating orb? Can I jam through the fence? Guess not. Okay. Well, this is pretty simple. Rather, I don't know, I'm strange obtuse with the setting and the, you know, technology and everything. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Cool. Well, I'm gonna get both of them, so suck it. Outnumbered? Okay. Let's deactivate the frickin' minigun. Okay. Oh, cool, so I only have one jammer? Nice. Oh, okay, I see. So I could go that way, or I could go this way. Okay. The orb just goes back and forth. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So you just start back. The guardians ah. of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. They murder you, only so. Okay. I see. Now his walk pattern is further when the gates open, but... Doesn't really help me with the giant machine gun, then. I know what I gotta do. Shucks, this is gonna be a pain. Ah! Alright, I gotta jam from afar, then. Trying to play it all stealthy-like, but nah. Screw you, get out of my way. So, impassable doors can be used against the enemies as well as me. Good to see. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get another. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Nope. Oh, striding the beaten path. Okay. Don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Yes! Here we go. Give me the jammer. You are most diligent. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. So it seems these uh, sigils are keys to open things. This one will open me up here. Bada bing! And I guess. What? Okay, okay. So you are playing Tetris, alright. And you don't get to keep those, okay. What's this say? Uh, this is Faith again. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer. Capital D there, interesting. With signs and portents to guide my steps, I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Okay, alright, sure. Can I close this, or take my sigils back? Yeah, what happens if I... Nope, okay. That was Faith, what is... Oh, V17. Faith was what? V10? Uh, whatever the end goal of this 
Grand challenges, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist uh, distraction? Well, you know. They say keep on keeping on for a reason. Really? 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 This supreme technology of- okay, whatever. Alright, alright, I get it. Alright, but it's an eye. Kind of creepy. Alright, use it. Network. Oh, darn it. Hello world! Yeah, let's go with hello world. <laughs> uh, let me do, yeah, help then. Alright, list, display list available, resources, open file name, show contents of a file, help, yeah, of course, run MLA, load Milton Library Assistant. Okay, I think that might be, uh, MLA might be helpful. How can I help your query today? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Mmm, okay. All right. Designed primarily to sort and cl uh, classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking troubles. Okay. How old? Yeah, let's go with that. Library resource publishing dates range from 1st of July 1950 to 27th of... June 203F. Current status, yeah. There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up 5 point whatever petabytes of disk space. This is approximately the size of 3 billion photos, 7, no, 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 2003. Rip. However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10 point whatever gigabytes of uncorrupted resources. Okay, so a lot. What has caused data corruption? Okay, there's no linear system over time. True, additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. How long has this system been running? Let's go with that. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get, let's get, yeah. Computer, what do you got? You're logged in with a guest account. Ah! No! Where am I? You're currently in a support center. <laughs> You're like, yeah, mm hmm. What are these terminals? Alright, are you able to take offense? You point this contraption? You cannot insult me. <laughs> Alright, so that one's good. Alright. Go back to okay. Uh, let's go help again so I can remember what they are. So, list. Okay. Oh, I can't do list. Okay. Let's just go down. No date on this, I don't think. Uh, from. Nadia, it's to, for, to Alexandra. Sorry if I was a little at odd. I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. It's maybe hard to believe, but you you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. 
There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realized that normally, uh, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure, G. Let's do that. Okay. No, oh, gap. Yeah. Figure it out. So from number to number, cool. Subject, F6E. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with the manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there. Put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure, plus it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it out. Love, Dad. Well, Dad, you're percent 442, you know, open parentheses, close parentheses, space Lee. So, interesting name you got there. What else we got? Athena 6 text. Okay. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of uh, Hercipides. Hesperides. I don't know. I, I don't know Greek, y'all. Unintelligible, did not trust them, they, but they moved with such grace, such an ability, that it was hard not to follow them. Further into this strange garden of gears and cogs, they led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strongly reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to, to claim it, but all faltered in the final step, for you must know that, that deathlessness reveals the morality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Hercules F load yeah, 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 gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm I'm used to used to follow it where you just press the screen. Uh help. Can I get a list of okay. Alright, no. Alright. Exit then. New text added to journal, so we have a journal and tab. Okay, so we have to get them from the computer and only the computer ones we get to keep. Alright. That it. Boop. Oh, nice. All crossed out because I got them all. So what do we got? One on each side. Step into the light, child. And what if... my temple will be revealed to you. But, like, do I have to? What's around here? Can't I go through here first? Just let me, let me get one piece. Yeah. Poking My a child, sleeping lion. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. Okay, yeah. You sure. are free to return to this place whenever you choose. You're right, but we're gonna get him. Boom, bada, bing. And an L. Trio Bombasticus. Well, they're all stuck, right? Oh, I see the issue. They're all stuck. But I need to get down the hallway they're in, so I just need to flip the sides they're on. Alright, let's go. I like the unlimited range on the jammers, though. Alright, now I'll step into your light since I got all your pieces. Oh, they cross out as you... Nice. Alright. A star? What's the star mean? Oh, well. I'll figure it out later. Alright, light. Ones and zeros, ones and zeros. It's the Matrix, y'all! 
I knew it. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, mm. whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Well, don't that look familiar to something? We'll, we'll see. What, what will we need for this? Uh, okay, Q, we need a lot. Okay, I guess this unlocks new equipment and the green maybe unlocks, you know, areas. That would make sense. One thing unlocks areas. All right. What do we got? Five, seven. Okay, well, some of these aren't. Oh. Okay. I mean, pretty sh pretty nice, but, you know, pretty shabby block up job here. Oh. There are mysteries in my garden. Mm. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. So that requires a star, and there was a star back here. Why don't, why don't we go check out for the star then? We'll check out his temple later. Alright, star. Doesn't tell you where the star is. Nice. Could be anywhere in this whole area. Possibly back at the very beginning. I wonder if I can redo these. Okay, so it could also be in here too, the star. So it resets even though, you know, everything's done for. Looking for a star shape, I guess? I can jam my jammer. Now I think I noticed if we were in the final area. Like the final, you know. The area where you pick up the final thing. Star. What is this? Oh, it's just a low crumbled wall. Okay, so, no. What was that? I guess it was the log off noise. Okay. Alright. Stars, everybody, stars. You got stars for me? Hmm. Okay. This star's probably pretty well hidden. Maybe I should just get moving then, for y'all's sake. I mean, yes, a game like this, I can totally go through and find every single thing. We'd be here a while. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to that hall, though, and check it out. Wait, what's... Oh, pillar. Okay. Oh, so timer's restarting now that I'm in new area. So, yeah, I think yellow are unlocks, is what it seems like. I don't know exactly what. Ah, nice touch. All the statues are headless. There is light and a skybox outside, so... Oh, what's this? What's this? Nice mosaic. Okay. Ah, okay. Hey! So... One I've been to and I've done everything. And we're in A. Okay, so there's a little, you know, info map up here. Nice to see. It doesn't say anything about any of the, uh... Unlock passages. And this is A. Okay. Elevator. Alright. Don't think we're getting into any of that. So let's go, uh, let's go balls to the wall. Let's go straight to seven. See what they got in store for us. Let this be our covenant. 
These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Okay, when I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. <gasps> A wallless place. Let's see if I can jump to my death. Oh, it's water. Let me see if I can drown myself then. In the beginning. <laughs> so you can drown. Nice. Okay. Let's try and get what we need for A so we can go through the door for A. We need a locked room inside. Okay. So we need an L. Okay. I don't... Alright. Locked from inside. That didn't do anything. Ah, uh, okay. So, I can go in here, but because I don't have the, I haven't unlocked the equipment I need yet, it, you know, I can't do it. Interesting. So maybe we have, maybe, you know, you have to go one, two. You have to go in order, at least, to unlock everything. Okay. Let's just go to two, then. Get some more content for... I mean, it's a good game so far. I'm enjoying it, you know? Lots of beeps and boops. Audio seems fine. Oh, another playback. I think it was called audio playback. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Hmm. So no other people have used the archive and... We're intentionally leaving stuff in the archive. Okay, let's just let's just use you on there. Anything down here? Yeah, now that I know there's secrets, I'm just gonna be more aware everywhere I am. Okay. Oh, I actually go through this one. Hmm. Only got two jammers again. Okay, so. Jam that, go back over here, move that, do a long shot on that one. Okay, easy peasy. Unless there's another door somewhere, in which case we'll we'll figure that out when we get to it. Oh, what's over here? A whole different area. I mean, it's definitely a puzzle game, and this seems to be, you know, the puzzle game aspect seems to be the only gameplay aspect, but, you know, lots of aspects to collect. Good. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. Unless it's necessary. So, I guess if I just stand around long enough, the game will be like, hey, idiot. Oh, I guess you're on islands then. Okay. So what, what dark tower was he talking about? Oh, oh no. Some popping there. I mean, popping's not a horrible issue. It's just you sometimes notice it. Just 
tunnel? Oh, very short one. Okay. I mean, it looks very nice. I mean, in certain, in some ways, it kind of looks kind of bland. Like the textures aren't a hundred percent amazing, but it did come out a couple years ago, so nothing against it. Oh, this is the what is it? Amphitheater thing I ran into earlier. I can very much see why you'd want to, and actually. Uh, okay, cool. So it looks like you have full uh, game option uh, options here. So let's see what this does. Okay, so it doesn't drastically change, but I am moving a little bit quicker. Oh, what's that? Oh, another computer console. Okay. Oh, this one's different. It's got, like, blue on it. Mountain local discs, unrecognized error detected, guest unknown. List. Sure. Plain language interface done, support uh, session open. Hello guest is something like help with today. Troubleshooting. Is the most common cause network problems it's holding insufficient account privileges. Ah, please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. So, I don't think any of these are accurate, but why not? Admin. QWERTY. Let me in. Yes. Okay, you'll be asked for a series of inputs. Okay. Please complete all fields. Please answer quickly. Begin certification program. Yes. It's four. Two or four. What is your subject reaction to this image? Uh, describes a person, a human being, sure. We're walking through the desert and come across there's a traveler, he eyes, his eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is. What do you do? Offer half the water. You'll receive a notification part two has been generated. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I got stuff. So let's go to the human machine. Seems most interesting, title wise. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Okay. Your life was uh, so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capabilities are identical to those of an organic human being, and you were created in a lab. Oh, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows this, knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before, and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to this, this question. A. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? B. Do... Does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others or do you keep it to yourself? Why? 1,500 to two, uh, 2,100 words. The 26th, the final deadline, no extension will be granted. Okay, solid. All right, just some homework. We're just gonna collect all these real quick. Okay, that's mostly error anyway. And erg solutions. All right, so we got all those. We'll be able to read them back later since they're in our journal. Ooh, what's this? I can't read that one. Interesting. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pretty much leave it here. Uh, there's plenty to explore. Plenty, plenty. What is there, seven areas? And that's not in counting whatever's past A. Each area's got plenty of stuff in it. 
I mean, so far, I've been at 60 this whole time, had no issues. If you're interested, I'd check it out, uh, especially if you're into puzzle-solving games. Oh. Ah, okay, so there are some locked doors around here, too. Yeah, this game seems to be very much about puzzle solving, not, you know, exploits, like jumping over this fence or whatever. So, yeah, uh, there, yeah, I might look more into this game, but if you're interested, check it out. In the meantime, I've been a formal bust. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, feel free to do the stuff if you want to. But until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves and drink some H2O.